Hi, my name is Samesh Akib with the Velix Tech Support. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Smart Eyes uh, application that you need for your Velix. First, what you need to do is go to your App Store. Uh, when you get to the App Store, go search for Smart Eyes. Uh, if you want, you can make the case sensitive, uh, the S and the E, or you can just type uh, one word at a time. It should be the only one on the list if you type that correctly, Smart Eyes. It should be at the top one or the first option. It's a little blue uh, logo as you can see. You click that one. My, app, my phone right now is currently installed. But for you, you're going to click install here. Second time for it to install. And it's going to ask you to log in using your uh, app, uh, Apple ID or your uh, iTunes IP. Uh, when the application starts, it will take it to either page that you have available right now. When it's done, it will be at the bottom of the page. It's going to be the same icon that you downloaded. You open it. You should get this uh, guys, an IT guys uh, logo. Uh, this is called uh, the side list. The side list should be empty for the first time. So what you will do is press the plus sign. Uh, as you can see, the first thing you will see is the side information. And the first input will be the site name. It could be anything, home, office, location one, location two, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. Uh, the next one is going to be IP host. That one is the one that's important. Uh, you could use either the internal or the external IP. Internal is basically called pub, uh, private IP or the 192 or 10.0 or depending on your location. Uh, the external IP or the public IP is the one you will most likely use. You just type that number, it usually starts uh, 679781, uh, like I said, it depends on the location that you are using. Uh, please do not put any colon 8080 or 8081 or 81 or 80, any of those are for web port, please avoid that, otherwise you will get a connection error or connect fail. So you put that number, each number ends with a, a, a period or a dot, then you continue. Uh, the next one, you enter your CMS port number. Uh, 2000, 3000, 5000, depending on the DVR you have, please uh, find that at your uh, setting of the DVR. The next thing you need to know is enter the username. I believe uh, Velex is a user, user1, and uh, the password is uh, uh, user is going to be user01, and password is going to be seven ones. Password is going to be seven ones. Once you're done, as you, see, as you can see at the top, you can either click return to get back at this page then click done and it will take you back to the location uh, the side list as you can see uh, like I was doing for the test uh, you have the the first one uh, that came up the the one you just enter which is 97 um, I'm sorry the one you will enter will be there mine is gonna be starting at 97 and it will have a colon 2000 which is my CMS client uh, like I said before, do not worry about that. The system does that for you. If you ever made an error, you have two options to uh, to either delete the whole setting that you made by pressing that little red, or you can uh, go back and just press this little uh, arrow at the right side to edit the information that you mistake. You made a mistake. Like I was showing you earlier, I called my site name, test, uh, IP address. I did not put any colon at the end, as you can see. My port number is there. My username and my password so I'm gonna click done then uh, once you're ready to proceed from here uh, you press the little uh, the first option you can have as many uh, different locations as you can this side list can hold as many as you can uh, right now what you're gonna do is uh, press the first one on the li on the list and it's gonna load the camera depending on your location again it might take anything from one second like mine to five to ten seconds depending on the internet connection Right now, what we're gonna do is uh, you can choose any channel because right now I'm just select any channel. I would like to show you how to use a PTZ, uh, uh, how to control using PTZ. Like I said before, right now we don't have any uh, PTZ connected, but what you need to do is go to your setting, uh, DVR setting, and make sure you have all your PTZ uh, port, uh, protocol, port raid and uh, the address and everything uh, set up correctly. You don't have to put any input here because everything will be transferred from the DVR. So uh, at the bottom, what you have is uh, different options, different modes, PTZ. Uh, the other one is uh, preset for the PTZ or uh, playback. So right now what we're going to do is uh, press the preset. As you can see, you have up and down, right and left, and zoom in and zoom out. 
Uh, basically, this is called visual uh, visual control or visual PTZ. Uh, the control is going to be on the screen. So if you just press one, it will go there. Like I said, right now we don't have anything hooked up. Uh, at the bottom, there's a little. Uh, let's get out of the PTZ. At the bottom, you have a you have a little yellow square, which means that it's not recording right now. If this was recording, it would be a different icon. Get out of this one. Let's uh, okay. Uh, I would like to show you how to use the audio option uh, for the DVR. If you were, if there was any audio right now, for audio to work uh, for the Velix uh, or the Smart Eye application, uh, you will need a couple of things. But first, let me show you that you, that we will have an icon at the uh, bottom right corner. Uh, it will be a little yellow uh, microphone or little speaker. Uh, in order for you to have an audio recording, or, I'm sorry, audio live, in order for you to hear the audio live, first of all, you need to have a speaker out connected to the back of where it says audio out. Second, you will need to go to the setting and go to the uh, record and also turn on the audio to record at the same time for you to have that. A uh, couple of things you can do for the little audio speaker. Uh, if you press that little yellow icon, you will see um, the little uh, the speaker tab that comes up. Uh, you need to scroll up and down in order for you to adjust uh, the speaker that I mean the audio that's coming out of from the from your DVR. And that's how you use your audio setting. Because of this recording, right now uh, what we're getting is a uh, uh, audio uh, feedback, but uh, normally it will not be like that. Uh, but let me put this microphone of mine closer to the phone. So you can see the recording that I'm getting back. Thank you again. My name is Amesh Shakib with VLX Tech Support. I would love uh, thank you for uh, using my tutorial. Thank you and bye.